get away from me. Now the idiots are all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost out of health. Sorry ladies and gentlemen, I had to start the video this way. It's something everyone who has a copy of this game has to try once. Because even with updates, Rockstar is smart to keep the glitch intact. Unless they fixed it in the Rockstar launcher re-release. Anyway, Spinny here, the one who makes all the reviews. And welcome to my first ever attempt at a gameplay commentary in nearly half a decade. I tried it a few times on the first year of the channel, but I took them down because I wasn't happy with them. I'm not what you call a king of improv comedy. But with a little extra time on my hands, I've decided to give it another go. Now, the first few weeks I've been experimenting with how I'm going to do these. And after a few attempts on selected games where I tried to wing it it didn't really sound good. The way I'm going to do this is probably unlike any let's play or gaming commentary you've typically watch. So what I'm going to be doing is playing the game and trying to wing it, but whenever I say something that sounds too much like mumbo jumbo, I'll reword it in post production. It's a lot more time consuming, but if it makes the video better, it's time worth spending on. And I've picked Grand Theft Auto 4, because I can complete it simply by thinking every mission in the back of my head, that's how well I know this game. It's also long so we can get a decent series length out of it, and my review of it is the most popular video on this channel. Honestly, it's a no-brainer. Nico is arriving at Liberty City, a different one from GTA 3. This is 100% based off New York City. I made a mistake in the GTA 3 review, that one was a small combination of Philadelphia, Detroit, Boston, Chicago, a lot of the East Coast cities combined to make the worst city in America. If you pay attention first time playing, you don't realize that each of these are cutaways. The cars, the diamonds, that one in particular is a big standout. They're all future subplots that connect all the expansions that came out the next year. It's an incredible structure. I love how each character is so highly developed, yet they're all chasing the same thing. Nico, my cousin! Hey. I can't believe it, you're here! <laughs> Welcome to America! Bravo, Baratsaru! <laughs> what? Good to see you, man. What? You forget our language? Uh, Kapusi? Maybe a little. I've been here 10 years. You could speak English. Remember, we learned off the English girls with the big. Uh, a little. <laughs> I'm not uh, so good. You'll be fine. Better than my Serbian. Ah! So good to see you, cousin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest meme of the Grand Theft Auto series. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bowling ball in the trunk. The land of opportunity. If there's room, maybe? I've made it. Probably. <laughs> oh. That's one way to see your cousin for the first time in a decade. Just do so drunk. <laughs> maybe you should drive. Oh, maybe I should. Okay. Okay. Hey, is this a cab? Where's the sports car? Hey, he's in the shop. Come on! <laughs> Drive us to our place on Mohawk. He's just up the road. I'll let you know when we're there. Okay, now the second I started driving Roman's cab, seeing the lighting in the dark, the physics of the car, using L2 and R2 to, for braking the, and accelerating. The city? Fucking terrorists! What? Terrorists! There's been a big scare and you can't go across the bridges so good. I mean, at least there's a reason I can't go to the different parts of the map anyway. This is going to be difficult when conversations are going on. Then again, it's not like you guys have ever heard of this before. This is the mansion? <laughs> Just a temporary place. Make yourself at home. What's mine is yours. Oh, oh. Shit. It would have been funnier if Roman actually broke the bed, like it just snapped in half or something. So, so you full of crap or what? What? Uh, where's luxury condo? Where's sports car? Where's Barbara with big titties and Stephanie who sucks like a vacuum? What are you talking about? In your letters to my mother. In your letters to me. All I hear about is Mr. Big, Mr. Roman, living the American dream. Sports cars, condos, women, money, the beach. To be fair, if the game actually started that way, it would make it too easy. And the only thing big about your life is the cockroaches. <laughs> That's and it's right. still on I his shirt. I got the best cockroaches, I got the best cats. <laughs> Screw you, you idiot. <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot, but you must admit, I have the best line in bullshit you ever heard. Yeah, this I know, asshole. 
two things. You remember, during the war, we did some bad things. And bad things happened to us. This is one of the best parts of the game, going back to Nico's past every once in a while. It's not like there are flashback scenes like L.A. Noir. That actually makes it better in my opinion, leaves it up to you to use your imagination. Maybe that is no excuse. Roman? <laughs> Roman! Are you sleeping, you fat no, fuck? No Come on! What's the time? Shit, I've got to get the cab back, it's on the shift. <laughs> ah! Oh, Jesus, this like a rat shot in it. Uh, yes, Vlad, it's sorry. No, forgive me, okay? No, no, please don't cut my cock off. Eh? Okay, Vlad, yes. No. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I underestimated how long these cutscenes are in this game. So yeah, this is it. Like Roman said, just a temporary place that I'll barely use even for regenerating health. I wouldn't be surprised if more than half the people who actually have this game, this is their safe house ever since. But not me, because we're actually going to explore the story. I might rampage every once in a while because it is fun to do even though the game feels more realistic in comparison to something like GTA 5. But missions are king, I might even try to reach 100% and use the videos to get proof of doing all those tasks. But for now, let's just go to Roman's cab stand. As I was saying before, when this was new, I thought this was mind blowing. I think I played this the year it came out, and as I said before, I got it a year later, after I was able to save enough money to buy a PlayStation 3. After I came back, I think I just bought this game just before I went on a long cycling trip, and it was until I came back that I really started to play this game, back in 2009. And it's the exact same copy that I'm using to play this game right now. And the rest they say is history. Given that my review of this game is, at the time of recording, is the most popular video on this channel and has climbed up in views again very recently. Thank you all so much for that by the way actually because, well, I'll explain later why it means a lot to me, not just because it's helped boost the popularity of this channel. It's a long story. For now, let's just play this game, experience it for what it is. I would have thought that Brian would be here to give me a couple hundred bucks on Uncle Sam and Ben Franklin, but oh well, not yet. Very difficult, I think. <laughs> is it me, or do these cutscenes look more vibrant than I remember when I bought it over a decade ago, like an update or something? See, not everything I tell you is bullshit. I bet most of it was. I hope you're less full of shit than your cousin over here. Thank you. This is the woman that I'm going to marry. Whatever you say. I thought you were going to marry me, baby. Hey, Vlad, great. Pay your debts. I will, I will do, man. We spoke of this. No, we didn't speak. You spoke. Then you say your phone out of batteries. You treat me like a bitch. Never. I treat you like an idiot, not a bitch, huh? <laughs> to be fair, they are I two different it's... things. The beautiful woman do like the guys with a funny sense of mm -hmm. humor. Ho <laughs> ho. I'm laughing. <laughs> what, I'll you thought you what I just said then was funny? And Roman, tell this fucking yokel here if he doesn't stop staring at me. I'll have his head chopped off and put a film of it on the internet! Well, that's one way of saying he's gonna be pushing up daisies yeah. soon. Oh good. Great. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Look, say what you like, but at least that guy knows how to speak to a lady. Yes, he's all charm. Come on, Nico, let's go. Uh, darling, I, I, I'll see you later. I've got to take my cousin around some more. Get him settled. Then again, you gotta have a character you hate to get things off on the right foot because that's what Rockstar games are about. Doing some home improvements, Roman. You're going to build this mansion? I love the ragdoll physics in this game. Oh, funny guy. We're going to get money. In America, you need money to do anything. You're taking me to a back room. I know that I've criticized the driving in this game when I reviewed it a couple of years ago. How much more realistic it is, and I got a bit of flack for it. Now, I haven't seen the review in a while. What I'm meant to say is that because I played it so much, one of the top three video games I've played the most in my life, it's not an issue for me personally, but I just imagine it being a turn away for players trying to get into this game for the first time, especially now that we've got GTA 5. But I also say that it is something you get used to. Shit, uh, I almost forgot. I'm giving you my old phone. My new number's in there. Call me if some Albanian show up in some shitty page, Willard. 
Those are the guys I owe money to. Do, do not hurt them. I know what you're like, Nico Bellic. You and your debts, Roman. Oh, how far foreign technology has come. Even just a year after this game came out, now that I think about it. Mind you, it's a massive step forward from the predecessors where you waited for the giant brick to ring and press tab or L1. Whereas this one has a phone book, messenger, ringtone and theme options. This is the reason why people resort to Rampage, it's missions like this. Look, I'm just literally si sitting here, doing nothing. I mean, I'm, I know I'm supposed to keep watch, but still. Here we go. It's all quiet out here, Roman. You winning? I wish there was an option for foreign subtitles only, like the Wolfenstein games. Though, I have played this game enough to understand what he's saying anyway. Roman, it looks like your money lending friends are here. You know it'd be funny? Just don't ring him. Leave him there. Cousin, two guys are going in the store. I think they are the loan sharks you speak of. Shit, I'm down! The gambling is a sign of things to come. Shit, Nico, it's them. They must have been told I was here. You're in much trouble, Bellic! Remember, do not hurt the loan sharks! Come on, Roman, this is Grand Theft Auto. Just let me! Get us back to the depot, quick! Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what to expect. This this game is in the back of my head. I'm literally going into the cab station without even thinking about it. I just go the route that I usually go all the time. It's actually a slightly longer way, but still. All right, cousin, I'll lose them. Sandanile taco desco. Just like the old days, eh? That's it. Do you think Already they lost. saw me? Of course they saw you. I mean, you're a distinctive man, Roman. We're here! Oh, you like your phone? Maybe one day you get the premium quality All I pressed was one button. Then you will have really made it! I can only wish. Oh, here we go. Uh, of course you do, Roman. I am kind of tempted to just go through the windscreen right now. <laughs> I don't like you don't like me. I just went through a windscreen, alright? If you don't like me, well, neither do I! Come on, Daddy, what's your problem? I don't have problem, you do! Yeah, this is exactly what Roman told Nico about in these emails of his. Stop this! What are you? Get out of here! What? Yes! Nobody messes with Nico. You forgot this? You have been in prison! <laughs> I love Roman when he's angry. Shit, Nico. What did you do? He was going to stab me. Now he's going to kill you. Fuck him. Look at this mess. Screwed. Again. You want to know why I'm not <sighs> living in a nice condo? Banging for women? It's because of shit like this. Assholes threatening Shut me. Shut up. It's a dirty car. Maybe I should take it to a car wash before I pick them up. So, we gotta pick up Mallory and her friend from the train station. That's the thing with the first few missions, they feel by the numbers because it's about learning a new feature of this game. And that's the way it is for the next 15-20 missions even if this game is in the back of your head. The whole game is basically a tutorial. At least it gives me something different to talk about. Get in, ladies. Hey, Nico. Thanks for coming. I should have known Roman would find some excuse not to turn up. This is Michelle. Hi. How are you? I live on Rotterdam Hill up on Mohawk Avenue. You know where that is? Well, Liberty City in GTA 4, as I said before, is practically tattooed into my brain. Of course I know where it is. How are you finding America, Nico? Not exactly what I expected. Nico, you know what? You need someone to show you a good time. Michelle, how about you? Mallory, stop it! Come on, you guys. You're both single. You're adults. Take a number, Nico. Hey, I'd like to see you again, Nico. You look like that kind of guy I want to get to know. You look like you just jumped off the boat, Nico. Handsome man like you should get some... Customization. Thanks, so much, oh, I'll yeah. get to that. Thanks. Give me a call sometime. See you soon, Michelle. 
Danny works pretty much the same way as San Andreas, but the places you can go are more than just food related. And you can do these activities with friends as well, as I'll illustrate later on. Cousin, I dropped the girls off. The friend gave me her number, but I don't think Mallory likes my clothes so much. I know just the place for you. It's on Mohawk in Hull. Go and get something a bit more 21st century. Now to my main gripe with this game, the lack of customization options. Seriously, don't expect me to be creative at least while the record button is on. Now, I know this is the GTA 4 equivalent of a bingo store from San Andreas, but I just came off the bat of that game which set a benchmark in multiple areas with customization being one of those things, hundreds of different options. But here, there's probably only one store of clothes on the entire map. And not only that, it takes ages to load up. You will look like a new man in this, yes. I suppose it means no matter what you wear, Nico doesn't look out of place in any of the cutscenes, though I might find a way in the future, and it doesn't take as long to choose. At least Michelle will be impressed. But I swear, when you go back to your safe house, it takes over a minute to select a jacket even if you made your mind up in advance. Which means whenever I'm selecting an outfit, I'm just gonna skip it for you guys. Hey Nico, it's Michelle. We met with Mallory, Roman's girlfriend. I remember. What's up, Michelle? I don't normally do this, but I thought you'd probably be pretty lonely having just moved to Liberty City and all. You do not normally do what? You're not making this easy for me, are you? Normally, generic dialogue in this game usually ends one way, but I think with Nico, it works in these scenarios at this particular moment, being in a different country and all. I am getting sick of hanging out with Roman all the time. Uh, how about I pick you up from your apartment? That sounds good. See you soon. Nico, Glitter has me cornered in the court, under the L train on Firefly. What does he want? Oh, I can't think what he could possibly want, or why he's being pissed off. Can you? <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's be reasonable. Okay, I'm gonna save Roman because it's the least time consuming thing to do. If you don't, then you have to pick him up from the hospital and eventually do what I'm about to do now. Now the melee controls, that's the next thing you learn, which are actually decent in this game, especially if you have a melee weapon. Not exactly Streets of Rage, but I don't know, maybe it's the ragdoll physics when enemies are low on health. There's a good example in my review, I think it's this mission. Listen, Darden is a good friend of mine, it was a misunderstanding! Oh! Hey! Oh, shit! There he is! Keep on fat boy here and I'll talk to him! Our problems with your cousin. I told you to stop! Now it's too late. So yeah, you can actually dodge and um, also kick and do different punches. Come on then. Hey, I dodged that. There we go. Oh, see what I mean? The ragdoll physics. Whoa, whoa. Come on. Nah, I'm gonna finish with the combo. God, that wasn't very sporting of Nico. Oh. Oh. This beating is for Darden. That is what we think of your death. If one more of these gangsters tries to Speaking of shitheads, here's Darden. Come on, my car is over there. Let's get him. You drive. I don't feel so good. All right, let's get him. These guys think that they're better than me. They think they can fuck me around and beat me up because there are more of them. Not any longer. Me and you, Nico. Me and you are going to show them. We're going to the top, Nico. The top! For now, let's just try to survive, cousin. Is it me, or does that genuinely sound a little bit motivational? Dutton is stopping. He's trying to get the- Your cousin owes us money! Shit it! Alright, bring it on, Darden. Yeah, if you jump up the stairs like that, you can actually get up the stairs faster. Motherfucker, stay away! Come on. What are you waiting for? 
come on, what are you- There you go! Thanks! As you can see, I'm trying to send him tumbling down. Oh! Was that supposed to happen? There's what we owe you, Darden. Nothing else. Ah, oh, well there you go. I was worried for a second that I would have to jump down to finish him off. I don't think I've ever taken him out that way before. Darden ain't a problem for you no more, cousin. Nice one, cousin. Drive back to the depot. These bruises are starting to pain. These men, these Shylocks like Darden, they always try to squeeze you for everything. A man in Europe, another Russian. Bulgari. <laughs> I remember getting a little bit of flack for mispronouncing Bulgarin's name. Even though every single character, apart from Nico, including the Russian gangsters, pronounces it Bulgarin. You did Darden and Bleeder? He had too many connections for that. I had to leave. He is one of the reasons I came here. And to see your cousin, of course. Of course. We will have no more problems from now on, cousin. It is all plain sailing straight to the top for you and me. We will see if things are that simple. Okay, now let's go on this date with Michelle. Then after that, we'll call it a day. Who is it? Hey, it's Nico. Hey, I'm just finishing my hair. Come in. Thank you. I'll be with you in a minute. Whoa, did you see that? She briefly disappeared for a millisecond. So, where are you taking me? I don't know. Uh, I'm new here. I thought maybe we could go to the, uh, fun fair. Yeah, great. Let's go! Love the fun fair. Actually, we call it, um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de doo <laughs> Who reckons this game should have an actual carnival of some sort? Then I just realized it's Grand Theft Auto 4. There's practically nothing to do in this city, and I can't imagine Nico being at one of these. But then again, he did suggest it. So, Nico, why couldn't you come on the date earlier? What happened? Roman got himself into some trouble. I had to help him out. Really? Does Roman get himself into a lot of trouble? Is he involved in criminal stuff? Roman? Uh, he's made some mistakes. Got involved with people he shouldn't have, but really, he is a legitimate businessman. I have to admit, because I'm actually recording this right now, I'm trying my best to actually drive as best as I can. Like, I know this... Well, I really thought I was going to hit the cop just then. Carnival's closed, Nico. I think some big developers have bought it or something. There's a bowling alley over on the boardwalk. Why don't we play a few frames? Sure, bowling sounds like fun. Oh, Jesus. I imagine that word would trigger post-traumatic stress disorder for some of you watching. You like to bowl? Yes? You have come to the right place. Choose a lane. Jokes aside though, I hate to say it, but I actually don't mind the activities in this game. Or maybe it's just because I played them so much, I've eventually grown to like them. Though it is hard to make it appear fun in this playthrough. Oh god, what was that? That was bad. <laughs> Jesus. She's probably gonna beat me. There we go. Pleased with myself. Here you go. My strategy is to add spin because bowling at arrow straight always causes a split. That's my actual bowling technique in real life. I'm not great at life, oh yeah, I've got another I try. Like an angel. I predict a strike. Oh, come on. So what are you doing here in Liberty City, Nico? What's anybody doing here? I don't know. I think you do. There must be something that made you leave your home and come here. Give him a break, Michelle. It's like Mallory said, he just jumped off the boat. I felt like I needed a new start. There's nothing else about Liberty City then? Just Roman? Maybe there is more to this place. I'm not sure yet. That was nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. Do you guys think I should make an effort to do all these other things outside the missions? Maybe only when it's funny. Jesus, you psycho! Behave! 
Anyway, that's all for now. I wasn't preparing to play this game for nearly an hour, but that's how enjoyable it is to me. I know what you just saw is untidier than some of my videos from the first year of this channel, but I want to try something different, and I'm determined to make it work. It also doesn't help that this game is very slow at first. You need to play it for a few hours before things get interesting, but if you do like this, I'll continue playing it. I mean, it'd be my pleasure to replay GTA 4. I've already got parts 2 and 3 recorded, so fingers crossed I'm most of you too. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, check out the reviews, they'll always be a priority. Thanks for watching, but most importantly, stay safe.